Andrew Marvel to his coy mistress. The next stanza begins with the word but. But at my back I always hear time's winged chariot hurrying near, and yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity. Thy beauty shall no more be found, nor in thy marble vault shall sound my echoing song. Then worms shall try that long-preserved virginity, and your quaint honour turn to dust, and into ashes all my lust. The graves are a fine and private place, but none, I think, do there embrace. It doesn't take too much imagination to figure out the way the poet's thoughts are developing here. Instead of words like long and slow, we have time's winged chariot hurrying near. From thy beauty shall no more be found, we know that a time will come when his mistress will no longer be beautiful. And he talks about the grave. So where does that lead us? I think it's pretty clear. Basically, Marvel is saying if we had enough time, we could love each other very slowly. But, but what? Can you sum it up in a few words? If we had enough time, we could love each other very slowly. But we don't have that much time. Life is short, and in the end, we'll die. Again, there's still a lot we need to understand here, but we've got the basic idea. We can follow the logic of the poet's thoughts. So let's move on to the last stanza. Thank you.